Hello and welcome to another bench test video from Warwick. We're on the on the newly released game, A Plague's Tale Requiem. I've got this on Xbox Game Pass, and there's been a bit, a bit of controversial versy about uh, the consoles like the PS5 and Series X can't get above 30 FPS because the game is too powerful. And now I'm playing this on the PC, as you can see, I'm using an RTX 3070 GPU. A Ryzen 5900 x CPU and 16 gigs of RAM and DirectX 12. We're going to go through some of the settings on DLSS, Deep Learning Super Sampling from NVIDIA, and we're going to try and see if we can improve on that 30 FPS. Now let's go into the settings. We're in 4K, as you can see, 3840 by 2160. We're on 100% resolution. Remember, on PC, the lower the resolution, the better frame rate you get. It's on maximum resolution. We've got no NVIDIA on at the moment. We are in graphic presets of Ultra all the way down. So we're going to go and try that first and see if where we can go. See, and then I will, I will change it to DLSS and try to improve the frame rate, which I should be able to do because it's an amazing bit of software from NVIDIA. We haven't got the AMD version yet, so hopefully that will help as well when that gets released. Right, we're in 4K, 100% resolution, and look at the frame rate, 27 frames a second in 4K. That is real low, people. This game is very unoptimized, and that's the reason why the consoles are suffering big time. 25 26 frames per second and this is on just standard standard graphics with no nvidia uh, magic right so now we're going to change that now because that's we've got to try and improve that so we're going to the graphics again we're staying on 100 percent resolution and we're going to put in nvidia dlss super resolution now this is automatic. This is the first setting. This is meant to be automatically set it to the best settings of your computer. So let's get into it and see if that makes any difference. Like a hog. Now that's that's improved it already from 25 to 26 frames up to 51, 54. At least it's in a playable state. It's actually higher now than what the, the consoles can do anyway in an automatic setting. Just going up to 55, add 57 then. That's on auto. But we can actually get it higher than that with NVIDIA's technology. 58. That's well playable, people. Oh, we, oh, hello, we took 60 frames. At, yeah, we took 60 FPS. There we are. That's in auto. Let's try and get it even higher now. So, right, we're on auto settings. Now, this is quality. This is the best setting you can have it on. It may actually go down. And uh, this is the best uh, graphical quality in DLSS you can get. Of course, the frame rate has now gone down because we've got more graphical output we're still at 45 40 to 48 fps remember even on the um, high refresh rate on the consoles they could only reach about 40 fps on the ps5 and series x and this is at 46 47 fps and this is the quality mode on deep learning super sampling Right, so we're going to change that again, and this is where the graph, the frame rate should start to go up. So we're going to go from quality, and we're going to go up to this is balance. This is a balance setting for graphics and frame rate. Let's have a look. So this is meant to give you good frame rate and good graphics. We're up to 55, 56. All right, that went up a bit, but now we're going to get into the into the performance modes. 
Now, this is just standard performance. This should give a, a, a bit of a boost to the frame rate. The graphics probably will go down slightly, but let's have a look. I smell fear. The has laid his eyes on you. We're going up 59, 61. Come on, don't despair. We're up to 60 frames per second on performance mode. It keeps, it keeps dropping below 60. But remember, we have got one more setting, ultra performance. So up to 63, 64 FPS. So this is well over 20 frames more than the PS5 and the Series X can manage. But now we're going to go to the ultimate setting for performance on the NVIDIA RTX cards. Ultra performance. Now this gives the best performance at 4K that we can get. Let's have a look. Well, we're well over 60. We just hit. We're going over to. We're in the early seven. We're in the early 70s. So this is the uh, yeah. We're at the top end of the 60s, early 70s. Sometimes we're going into 74, 75 frames. But remember, I'm not on the highest PC at the moment. I'm only using an RTX 3070 GPU. But we're in the 70s. It's, it's, it's locked in, locked out roughly in the 70s, mid-70s frame rate, which is very good for this game because I'm assuming it's going to be more optimised soon with a new patch and will help out the consoles. But there you go, 70s high, 79 FPS. Nearly... Oh, the late stages of the 70 fps range so i hope you've enjoyed this little look at the game and uh, what you can accomplish on a, me a medium gaming rig i mean mine's not top end no more a plague's tale requiem does need a patch and uh, that's the settings from no settings at all standard game settings right through the dlss nvidia graphics settings in 4k so if you like what you see please drop a like and subscribe to my channel i like to bring you these bench testing videos of certain games that can be a pain to play and uh, i will be live streaming the place tale requiem very soon on my live channel so check that out and i hope you come back and watch some more warwick gaming channels videos as i need the support so until the next one it's bye bye